well, been so excited. I can't wait for this yeah. moment. So welcome to Dangerous Dan from Mad Science East. Yay! Wow, I've got to come over, haven't I? Yes, absolutely. Oh, come now, on over. Come just on. Just before we start, if anybody's noticed, I've had to move the aeroplanes onto the stage area because. Dangerous stands, dangerous. So we don't want those getting trampled, but we will put them back in the right place with our little measure and everything. It's all the rules are fine. We've got adjudicated. So <laughs> dangerous, Dan. Good to see you here in good the studio. To see you too. What are you going to do for us? Well, we're going to talk all about air today and why it's so important. Brilliant. Yeah. And and are you going to be doing some crazy experiments? So what do we need to do first? What do you want us to get? Well, to start with air. Exactly. Right? I think we need to know how much of it there is. What just in here or, or everywhere? Everywhere. How, how much, much of it specifically is on top of your head? pushing down, how much pressure there is. So in order to figure that out, we need to know how far away the edge of space is. Yes. Because that is where the air essentially stops. So that was like 100 kilometres-ish, wasn't it? 80 uh, kilometres? I would like say 62-ish miles. Yes, that's what that's they said, 100 yeah. K yeah, that's about right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Imperial. Oh, you're Imperial, you know, unfortunately. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Look at me up with the camera. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> so all of that air is on top of your head, pushing down at the same time. Now, would you say that weighs anything? Well, it doesn't feel like it weighs anything. I mean, I've got a bad back, but it's, you know, I don't think it's the air. It doesn't it? feel like it weighs anything at all. But in fact, there is two and a half tons of pressure pushing down in your head. No. Right yep. That That's is like two family cars. Or one African elephant. Oh, <laughs> right now. I'd rather have two family cars than an elephant. That's why all your hair's fallen out, Mark. Oh, dear. Oh, there was no need for that. <laughs> <sighs> so why do you think you're not squished like a pancake? Why are you uh, not a jelly I'm on the so floor? I'm so strong and muscular and fit. That might be part of it, but what about me? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no, that is true. Why aren't you squashed and fit? I mean, I know why I'm not. So, uh, the reason is, take a nice deep breath. <sighs> you are full of air. And I can prove oh, this with this lovely going, bottle then. here. This yes. represents us right now, full yes. of air. So now, if I was to take out all of the air, what mm. is going to happen to the bottle? Are you ready? It, it, oh, it squishes. Straight away. It is crushed, and it is crushed by all of that air pressure around you. Right. Now, even though the air around us is slow moving, it still has that two and a half so tons So it's not of crushed by sucking the air out. It's crushed by the other air trying to get in effectively through the edge of the bottle. We are creating a vacuum in here. Whoa. So there's no air, and the yeah. air doesn't like that. It wants to get into it, and so it crushes it from all the outside wow. possible angles. And now we have this. All you need to do to bring it back to life, and it is full of air again. And now it is a completely fine, OK bottle to wow. use again for later. So That's amazing. I think we can use this air to our advantage. So yeah. I'm going to introduce you a friend. This is old Peter Ping Pong Ball right here. Right. And we are going to try and keep him in the air. But we are not going to use the two and a half tons of pressure. What we're going to use is the opposite of that. We're going to create fast moving air. And that lowers the pressure. So I have brought with me a lovely hairdryer from home. Does it work? Does it work? There we go. <laughs> nice and dry. Perfect. <laughs> and we are going to take, you're going to take Peter and you are going to place him on top of the hairdryer. OK. Slowly. Oh, slowly. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> slowly. Oh. Wow. Look now, at, at the moment, we have a <laughs> column of fast moving air going upwards. But what happens if we tilt the hairdryer? It'll fall off. It should fall off, right? It will. Now you're seeing... It's not falling off. It is staying on. Well, how's it doing that? Well, that is an excellent question. That's a good catch as well. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, at the moment, we created fast-moving air from yeah, the hairdryer. Yeah. That essentially causes low pressure. Now, all around us at the moment, we've already established we've got two and a half tons of slow-moving, high-pressure air. That means as we turn the hairdryer, whilst that fast moving air is allowing our ping pong ball to float, all of the slow moving air is pushing in, trying to get into that column of fast moving air. Wow. Just like it was trying to get into our bottle, it crushed it. Just like that fast moving air is keeping the slow moving air in that column. Wow. It's amazing. So I think we should add some more stuff. Yes. Because we have some balloons. So here, you take a balloon, blow it up for me. OK, you here can we go. name it as well. <laughs> I think that one's just about big enough for me. How big, that big? That big, a little smaller. OK, here you go, you want that one? Perfect. Oh. <laughs> Try that one. <laughs>
You're making this look like hard work. It <laughs> seems like, I think you need some different balloons, these ones. <laughs> right. So, I've got a small one, a big one, and you've got a medium-sized one. So we're going to try and keep all of them on at the same time. Uh-oh. I don't feel like this is going to go very well. <laughs> Perfect. You hold on to that one, and I will hold on to this. Actually, you hold on to two. Oh, no. And I will put the first one on, and then you are going to put the next ones on, and then we should finish with Peter. Hopefully, we'll have all four in the air. Hopefully. Four? Oh, sorry. I was thinking. You can do it. Are we ready? Come on. That's one. All right. Add the purple one. In here? Yep. Two. Oh no. Juggle it. Juggle it. Go ahead. Oh. Put it back on. And now the blue one. No. The blue one. <laughs> we'll put Pete. Peter's fine, but you've got to put all the other ones on. Go on, Mark. Aim high. That's it. There we go. We've got two. Can we get a third? Yay! Oh, no. <laughs> the purple one. There we go. Oh, the blue one's escaping. The ball's gone. Like juggling. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting there. <laughs> Yes! Oh, Brilliant! Oh, I would say that's about as good as we're going to get. Excellent. Not too bad. I love being good. your assistant. <laughs> Very energetic. <laughs> so, we managed to get, I would say at one time, four objects were on there. But you might have noticed that this is not perfectly spherical. Mm. So, Peter's ping pong ball, all of the air goes up and goes around him, and then goes up and around. But oh, yeah. unfortunately, your blue one, because it is not quite it's perfect not bad. Spherical. it's got this bit here it does a little wobble yes so to try and get all of them in the air we would need perfect spheres got you but different sizes are all the same size at uh, different sizes to stack them properly yes, brilliant now obviously we're mad science and you could do this at home if you wanted to with your own ping pong balls and your own balloon and a hairdryer if you've got one but we need to do things bigger so i have brought a slightly bigger hairdryer with me it's just over here in the form of my leaf blower <laughs> It is pretty big, it's pretty <laughs> powerful. I did that before and look what happened. You want to try? No, I've been there once. <laughs> Not yes. doing that again. Now, I don't think we should put the ball on there. Because no. it would just fire it right into the Shall ceiling. But yeah. we can bring something bigger. I believe around there you have oh, a slightly wow. bigger ball, just slightly. Perfect. We have our lovely ping pong, uh, our lovely beach ball, and you might have noticed it is perfectly spherical. Look at that! So you are going to be in charge of this this time. <laughs> are you ready? Yes. I'm going to start low because these start ceilings low. are as high. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Good, right? I mean, you see, all of that high pressure air was keeping our ping pong ball floating is, all the way, oh, oh, sorry, our beach ball all the way over there. Wow. Amazing, right? But why is this useful? It, it, it is fun, but at the moment it doesn't seem very useful. Mm. So we need to translate it to something a little Unless more Unless you want children on the beach not to be able to get their beach balls. Oh, <laughs> you could use that, that. I think what we need to do is introduce some toilet roll. Yes. This toilet roll is going to show us how we can make things fly. Now, we are going to use that same principle of the high pressure and low pressure air. And this is Bernoulli's principle, which right. we mentioned earlier. And now this definitely helps us fly. What we're going to do is we're going to blow over the top, uh -huh. creating fast moving, low pressure air. That means underneath we will have slow moving, high pressure air. So we should get lift. So normally when you blow on something, you expect it to go in that direction downwards. But because of this Bernoulli's principle, the toilet roll should go up. But I have not got enough breath to keep this going, so I think we should bring back the leaf blower. Yes. Now, here we go. I will hold this. We are going to put our fast moving air over the top and see how much lift we can get on our toilet roll. Are you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> I 
amazing. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we've got plenty of toilet rolls. Do you want to see it again? Uh, yeah, yeah, let's do it again. Yeah, let's, let's do it, do it again. again. Leave. No, I'll leave for a minute. Right, have time. I think I'll hold it this time. Do you want to have the leaf Can, can I have the leaf Of course you can. Where's the arm button? Oh, yeah, this right there. Like, this one? <laughs> right. You've got a, a, a victim that we can cover victim. in toilet that roll. That one there. Yeah. Right, perfect. Tom, go for camera it. Here one. Here we go. Which way? Just any way. Any way. Any way. Go for Adam. <laughs> John, go for John. <laughs> Back to Tom. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> ah. Brilliant. Um, it's fun every time. <laughs>